I'm Jared Gilbert, and I'm from Pleasant Lake, Indiana, small town. Just after college, I was involved in a church that had an extensive like, homeless outreach mission, and uh, it was one of those kind of places where you could volunteer every day if you wanted to, and so I was there all the time. At some point, I came out to them. I told a friend, and then she, without telling me, told another person, and then another person, another person, and so my coming out was more like confirming to these people, like, oh yeah, it's true, I'm gay. It was like a full year later when uh, I walked into some sort of intervention and they told me I needed to not be gay or leave, basically. It wasn't clear exactly what I should change or how to change or anything like that. It was just like, you know, kind of a stop being gay kind of thing. And, you know, I wasn't going to say that I wasn't gay because I knew that, like, I was quite secure in that. But it was almost like... The option was presented that I could be gay as long as I'd like, you know, didn't be gay. <laughs> I didn't know what to change in my life because I wasn't dating at the time and I was just like working all the time. Um, but they were not moved in their, whatever I told them didn't matter. Um, and at some point uh, they just said, hey, you need to leave because your spirit is killing this place. And I was like, all right, this is done then. <laughs> and so I left and never went back. And so uh, that was a really difficult time because spirituality is so important to me and art was so important to me and I was a musician there so music was really important to me and all these things stopped in my life like overnight. Partly because the, I wasn't part of this community anymore but also just because I couldn't, I couldn't do it, I couldn't offer it anymore. Um, and I had this, also had this moment on the spiritual side where I'm like, okay, I need to decide if God's worth it or not. So by some sort of uh, providence, my car just broke down on the way to work and I couldn't afford to buy a new one. So I moved to New York and um, coming to New York, I felt suddenly like it was in a whole new place. And obviously there's homophobia everywhere, but you can, I could kind of be myself there. And I took my whole self you know, for the first time really into a church and where I got involved and um, eventually became a music director there, um, which was so fantastic. I completely recovered everything I had lost being kicked out. And then um, years went by, but so many people came into my life that really affirmed my spirituality and my sexuality. So like, my whole self was there, like there wasn't a part of me that was silent. And um, so now I'm here at Divinity School <laughs> at Yale and it's pretty awesome to be able to have that platform to speak from and say like um, that the experience I went through, I wouldn't go back, I wouldn't change it because I found a sense of freedom of myself that I wouldn't have gotten any other way.